Yep. Okay, hello. Hello. Mm, happy Hi. Friday. <laughs> happy Friday. <laughs> right. Uh, you, you still have work tomorrow, do you? Huh? Do you still have work tomorrow? No. Okay. I don't work on, on weekends. Mm. I don't. All right. So what's the plan for tomorrow then? Tomorrow? Ah. Oh. Um, my friend's birthday tomorrow. Wow. Actually, not a real birthday, but uh, since mm -hmm. um, whenever we have a birthday during big days, we mm -hmm. we we normally change into a um mm -hmm. weekend. Oh yes, yes. And then we have a more, more much more free time to prepare mm -hmm. for yes. um birthday party. So. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the mall, mm -hmm, shopping mm -hmm. mall, grocery shopping, mm -hmm. and the mall, mm -hmm. and then Costco. Do you know Costco from USA? Really big a shopping mall. Mm -hmm. And what do you what, what do you what do you want to buy there? <laughs> Just I I I need to buy some grocery shop grocery um. Some groceries, mm -hmm. and um, cake. All right. And donuts, fruits, mm. Mm. chicken. Oh, how about your gift? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, mm. I also need to buy uh, some gift. Mm. Uh, are you thinking of like uh, buying something special or? Uh, you're gonna make something special. Um, I can make it, but um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. buy. I'm not so sure, but that more has really um a lot of stuff that I can mm -hmm. I can choose to. I haven't decided yet, but mm -hmm. maybe I will get some idea or mm -hmm. so. In my mind, actually, I don't know yet. Oh, all right. That's just cool. You'll have fun at the. Uh, you'll have fun um there, like just two things, walking around like oh maybe this, maybe that, maybe this. Oh, wait, <laughs> I change your mind. The other one. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, I usually see women in their grocery like they're holding their cart and then the cart moves side to side. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, where does she want to go? <laughs> Well, that place is really huge one, so mm -hmm. I don't I don't normally go, but only mm -hmm. just Halloween Halloween party preparation okay. preparation. Mm -hmm. I normally go there because some stuff are really um Americanized one like mm -hmm. for trick or tricking. I mean Halloween party. Then we have mm -hmm. um if we my students they prefer mm. to get uh some kind of special um um sweets like from okay. like not Korean one but from some mm -hmm. like like a thing that they are not familiar with. All they right. It's like oh what's this like really mm -hmm. something new then mm. you prefer to get that one so for trick or tricking then I mm -hmm. always buy a lot of candy and, and chocolate in the bar and mm -hmm. a lot a lot and then i just put it on the mm -hmm. um table all right and then we do like halloween like a mm -hmm. uh, hammer plastic mm -hmm. hammer and i say halloween and then the, their mm -hmm. face should go this and then that and then with mm -hmm. different different do you know this game no like uh, we say something like a three syllable, like a hello mm -hmm. or hello. Mm -hmm. And then if mm -hmm. I, if I do with the uh, left way that the day, mm -hmm. they need to face an opposite way, like right, mm -hmm. then they win. But they do whatever, I, they they face uh, the, with mm -hmm. the same direction with my hand, okay. then they're going to lose. Oh. So, and, and, mm -hmm. Yeah. I and three times then oh if they win that um two out of three twice out mm -hmm. of three times then they could get um two hands full of, of all the sweets oh if, 
they win just one out of three, then they they can just use their one hand to get mm -hmm. all the treats. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I'm not. But they really like it. Yeah, and I think that um, that, that kind of game is like um, nice to do, not just in Halloween. Right. Anytime mm. you can use that. When right. you just you need you need to get a, just a hammer. Mm -hmm. You don't need to even get a hammer. Anything that's like, mm -hmm. like a stick or mm -hmm. yes, it, yes. It's just like a Halloween, Halloween, mm -hmm. and then they right, right, right. They look busy, mm -hmm. and then they mm -hmm. really get focused. But most likely, mm -hmm. they just follow what I do. Like mm -hmm. uh, automatically, it's so funny. <laughs> yes, yes. Only just few, uh, and they really get mm -hmm. focused, and then they mm -hmm. they don't really follow just my direction. Oh, Only one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So you should try. Yeah, I should try. Uh, well, um, you know, perhaps I'll be meeting some um kids next month. So, um, I hope we could play that game with them. So <laughs> let's see. Yeah, they really <laughs> yeah. like it. Yes. Mm, oh, very nice. Uh, all right. Um, today we're gonna do um quite questions eight um to ten. <laughs> and this one is part um four of the test. This is re still responding to question, but mm. we have some information that is already provided. Um, everything that you have in the evaluation criteria column uh, um is evaluated. Mm -hmm. Um, here uh, let's take a look at how it's done first. So um, we have three short questions based on a schedule. So three short questions based on a schedule. Um, of course, directions. This one's always appear on the screen, and there's some narration because it's um internet based. Now, when the schedule appears, you have forty five seconds to prepare. So you gotta check the schedule for forty five um seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you will hear the beginning of a tel telephone call. G, G, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, and then um, the questions are, of course, about that um, schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there will be like a three second pause, the same thing as um, of the previous um, questions. And then there's a beep, then mm -hmm. 15 seconds. Uh, for the response. And then second question. Again, three second pause, and then beep, 15 seconds again. So seven and eight, the same timing. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for the third question, um, it will be played twice. Oh. All right, so it's a little bit different. Okay, now when the um, question is played the second time, that is the time when there's a three second pause before the beep. And of course, the response is longer. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, the format is um, very similar with the format um, in the previous part um, that we talked about. It's just that this time, mm -hmm. the third question is played twice. Oh, mm -hmm. so this part is the hardest one? Oh, well, uh, just, uh, mm -mm. go ahead. It depends or most uh, I likely think like, it's going mm -mm. to be hard. The, mm -mm. It's most likely um, the mm -mm. hardest one. Mm -hmm. Like uh, some people prefer like they have some information to get uh, some ideas from. So uh this one's easier for them but for other people like oh i just want to freely express myself so <laughs> they prefer the <laughs> previous part so i think like it usually depends on the um person mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay um the important thing is that both the previous part that we did and this part um the previous part has like um background information right Mm -hmm. Um, it tells you um something, and then all questions are based on those. And it would be the same thing here. It's just that this one is a schedule. 
Yeah, so there's not like a lot of um uh difference. Now um there are some um question types um ask here like detail. So you got to be very specific with the parts of um the um uh, schedule uh, for example like this. Of course if it's a schedule like there's always time place so basically, when you check this one, you got to focus on WH um, questions. Uh-huh. Because both for open-ended and close-ended questions, details are all about WH questions like who, when, where, um, sometimes how, what, like that. So WH questions are very important. Now, let's go back to that one a little bit. Um, confirmation. So if there's like a, a yes, no um, question at the end. So you got to check the schedule, right? Are we like, okay, okay. <laughs> Does it start at eight or seven? Like that. And of course, your answer is either a, a yes or no. And then uh, some other um, details. Uh, this one is important to remember, though. A good response will give accurate and complete information in a clear and cohesive manner. Mm -hmm. um, cohesive, so we still need to use some. Um, yes, uh, correct. Um, that um, uh, that kind of um, word or phrase. And a few more things to remember. You, we gotta read the title to identify the type of information. So in this case here, starting and managing your own business. Mm. Because this one gives you a general idea on what this one is about. All right, and then um, scan for the main idea uh, and how the information is organized. This was also very important how the information is organized. Um, for example, uh, say um, uh, this, we have like date, so mm -hmm. when, where, details of the seminar, and then how much. So you should know what questions these ones ask or answer. So, for example, um, in the question, you hear like, um, how much does the conference attendance cost? You know where to put your eyes. You wouldn't be doing this like, oh, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> right? So, in your preparation time, like, okay, we have here, um, when, um, the place, uh, details of the seminar, how much? Okay, so you already know the um, sequence. It means you know where to look. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know the sequence and you get asked like how much, it means you got to check from top to bottom all the time, oh. <laughs> which, which will um, waste time. And you won't be able to like um, generate um, the idea for your uh -huh. response. Mm -hmm. So the title and then how these ones are sequenced. Mm hmm. And then as you listen to each question, skim the information for the an answer. Um, start speaking as soon as you hear the beep because the time here is only 15 seconds for the first two questions. And then um, here, um, when speaking expressions like, let's see. So while you say, let's see, you're actually looking at the information. Uh, for example, the question is, um, the narration says, could you tell me what time the conference starts and how long it will last? So you can start like, mm, let's see. When you say that phrase, you have time to check <laughs> and then provide um, the correct answer. But of course, uh -huh. you, you can't say, let's see every time. 
right. <laughs> like, like question. Oh, right. let Let's me see. see your... Oh no. Right. You get mm. to say like um or mm. let me see or mm. is it okay to say that? He, yes, that that also um is like a part of uh of cohesive devices. It introduces your um response, which helps um when um talking about um cohesion. So expressions like um uh let's um uh, see um or um hold on. I'm checking. I'm checking the um details um now. So let's say like I'm um, hold on, I'm checking the the um the details now. Um it starts at 9 a.m. and that would last for about two hours. So you got a time to compute like 9, 10, 11. Okay, that's about two hours. <laughs> like that. You have to remember, however, that your introductory phrase should be appropriate because if it's inappropriate, instead of um, it helping with your cohesion, it becomes a distraction. So you, you, still, ha you still have to be um, careful about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to sum that up, first thing to remember is... Uh, Check this one first, and then mm. the sequence of details. Mm. This one is when, first, and then right, like Correct. double more focus on double questions to yes. get uh, detailed information. Correct. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it would be um in my case like if I have this kind of information, I usually focus on like okay, this is when, where, um, what time or how long, how much. Mm -hmm. I tried to guess the WH question so it would easily match with the question. So, for example, like how much, then I already know. Ah, okay, that's the last part. How much? How long? Ah, okay, I'll check that one in the middle. Uh, what time? I'll check that one in the middle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Like just that. got a haircut this morning and she's oh, really? so Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why she looks a little bit skinnier today. Right. <laughs> so um, let's take a look at um, this one and the question down here. Uh, could you tell me what time the conference starts and how long it will last? So the conference starts um, here. How long? So that is two hours. Like that. How much? We already know it's down here. So 95000 dollars $95, for individuals. But we have here seventy-five dollars. You this one is something that you also need to be careful of because there could be two options. So for private individuals, it's $95. But if you are a member of the Business Information Center, then you get a, dis a discount. Um, you'll just have to pay $75. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Then like how do that? that? Uh, I mean... Uh... Yeah. So if I don't... Um... Mm. I don't know. I, let me, I mean, uh, can I see the real? Is this the? Ah, yes. Okay. Tell me what time the conference starts and how long. Then I can just find the information from there. Mm -hmm. How much the conference attendance the cost? Oh, then there are two different cases. Then in that case, I need to mention two of them. I must mention two. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Because if you don't, yeah. then your answer is incomplete. Incomplete. So, uh, yes. If you are a member of the business information center, then the cost could be seventy five dollars. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you should pay nine five dollars. Like this. Yes, correct. 
Because if you only mention one, one, one of um, those, then your response is incomplete. You got to remember they check not only relevance, but completeness of response. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. So even if your answer is um, correct, like 95 is correct, 75 is correct, but we got to mention both of them to make the response complete because both are part of the um, response. And then um, question 10, more of like a situation. I may not be available for the full day. Could you give me information about the activities in the morning before lunchtime? So for um, question 10, um, it's important that you know what is um, being asked. Uh, so here, activities. Activities like uh, before morning, yes. I mean, before lunch. Yes. Correct. So in that so, case, mm. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., there are three different activities. Like I yes. should be more detailed. Like mm -hmm. there are three different activities. The first one mm. that starts at 9 a.m. is uh -huh. <laughs> your business. Yes. Like this? Yes. So uh, I can just mm. say the full like sentence, like what, what it, it is said. Like that, or um, for for something, or for titles and names of people in there, and let's say in this case, the title of the seminar, mm -hmm. the, those ones become proper now, so it has to be exact. Oh, right. Uh, so, for, ex for, for example, example like mm -mm, um, financing your business, this is the title of the seminar itself. Uh huh. Um, and so we, you cannot change it because change. it's, yes, correct. Or Martha Ross, of course, is the name of the person. It couldn't <laughs> be changed. Um, <laughs> she has like a description, certified public accountant. Um, uh -huh. That can't also be changed. So these um, details, you got to check if you can change it or not. Proper nouns, you can't change them. But certainly you can make them into sentences. Yeah, so this one is more on like, how do you use this information and then translate it into a sentence? So they can check how you make your sentences. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, like um, at 9 a.m., um, Ms. Martha Ross, um, a certified public accountant, will be um, holding a seminar in room 210 um, on financing your um, business. Like that. So it's basically more on like structuring your sentence. This uh -huh. is the time when you have to like bring out the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I got to remember this structure. I got to use it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, complex <laughs> sentences and, and all that, how you add details to your uh, main idea. Those ones are very important. So um, just like in any test, any part is all about skills. Mm -hmm. Like how, how much uh, do you know about the language and how do you express it like that? So, so construction, correct. construction skill. Yes, correct. Um, particularly for um, this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, we have here another um, example. This time um, it has a sample answer. So again, we start with the title, Danville City Tours. So we get an idea, oh, this one's about touring. And uh -huh. so um, we got to check the sequence of the information. So, okay, we have here um, where um, reservation... Mm -hmm. uh, that is um, what, how, mm -hmm. how much. Oh, there's two again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And special detail. Uh, um, the sequence of events. This is the start. And then this mm -hmm. is the next. Uh, that is for the whole morning. This one is lunchtime. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is afternoon. And this is the um, end. And special details uh, reserved uh, 25, like that. For um, this part, for example, 
um, you, you can just um, read it quickly. Like I'm um, 10, all right. Okay. So, like that. You, mm -hmm. like uh, 45 in within 45 seconds. So yes, um, time could be, I forgot, maybe 45 seconds, no? Yeah, here. Here, 45 seconds. Yes, to yes. study the schedule. Mm. Ah, this is correct. all about schedule, right? Mm. Yes, so correct. I need to quickly like read all mm. um, the um all the steps. It's not steps. Mm. The sequence of sequence um the events time. or yeah. activities or, like mm -hmm. that. Yes. Uh huh. So mm. always that eight to ten question always like about the schedule or yes. Or something That's very, something or like something that. like a schedule like that. Mm -hmm. So there's order of events, uh, which one is first, what's going to happen. Uh -huh. And of course, uh -huh. um, because this one, long. yeah. And of course, because this one is business, there's always, uh, maybe not always, but many times, how much? <laughs> because the, <laughs> like, how much are you going to pay for the activity or the whole thing like that? Oh, uh, talking about how much? Sometimes the schedule that they put could be confusing because there's like payment for the whole thing. And sometimes there are like individual payments. Like, uh, for example, this is the schedule, but let's say in the narration says, oh, I can't attend this one. So I just want to um, do like activity A and B. How much should I be paying for it? Like that. So you got to check the price uh, down here. Of course, if there's like individual price, it would be indicated um, somewhere here. per person to the cost of your, of your tour mm -hmm. ticket. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you also need to remember that some information in the schedule could be separated. Uh, for example, in this case, um, this one costs $75 um, dollars for adults and $50 for children um, under 12. And then additional $25 per person to the cost of your um, tour um, ticket. So it means $75 plus $25. Really? <laughs> yes. So what's the difference? <laughs> What's the, no. what cost mm. on, on the top and what's the difference mm. at the bottom? Uh, this one is just like um, additional for the ticket, cost of the ticket. This one is for the tour. This one is for the ticket. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> this one is tricky. But, uh, they have to pay both of them. Right. Correct. Right? Mm. In other words, for adults, they got to pay $100. And for um, children below 12, they got to pay $75. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. Like that. So you have to be careful. There's also some math involved in here. <laughs> oh, no. So I really need to think about, I really need to get focused. <laughs> yes, uh, that get is the right. right uh, information. Mm. Then, Correct. Now, the, the this one is the sample answer. Ah, okay. So can you tell me how much it costs to take the tour? Mm -hmm. In that case, I, ah, yes, yeah, sure. Let me check. Uh huh. like this. Sure. Mm. Let me check the information mm. on the schedule that I can, yes. while I'm talking this, and then also I you can check. check the old information mm. there. Like yes, I, correct. Sure, let me check the information on the schedule, and then very briefly or quickly, I need to mm. find the right information from that. Correct. Uh, I have to prepare, mm -hmm. I mean, not preparing, just I have to say, right? I have to respond. Mm, yes, uh, that is right. Within mm. 15 seconds, no? Yep. Okay, so um, 15, 15, 30. 15, 15, 30, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, sure, mm. let me check the information on the schedule. The tour cost is $75 for adults and for children under 12, the cost is $50. Oh, mm. so I don't need to mention like a uh, ticket. I mean, yes. um, tour ticket. Yeah, because the question it only asks for only ask the, the tour. tour. But yes. tour ticket, no? Uh, tour ticket. No? <laughs> and, uh, 
We don't uh, know. <laughs> like um, tour here oh, um re question refers nine. to. Yes, mm -hmm. question nine. Mm, yes, so um, tour here refers to the activities only, and oh. tour ticket would be the twenty five. Um. Yes, yeah, so you gotta check the question. Uh, for example, if the question is, um, can you tell me how much um it costs to um uh can you tell me how much the total cost is? Then in that case, seventy five becomes one hundred. Uh huh. It could yes. be in total yes. um one hundred. Yes, that is correct. So you got to pay attention to what is being asked in the question. Mm -hmm. um, just like what they say, you got to give the monkey what the monkey wants. <laughs> yes, if the monkey wants um, strawberry now, he, got, uh, <laughs> he doesn't like bananas now, then you got to give the strawberry like that. If the, if the monkey wants the whole basket, then you got to give the whole basket. But if the monkey wants just the bananas, then give the bananas. Okay. <laughs> so check what the question wants. Mm -hmm. and then the question not nine, like mm. I heard that the tour includes dinner as well as lunch. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Then how do I know? <laughs> okay, let me check. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. now, according to the schedule, there's an optional dinner at the end of the tour. This costs an extra $25 over and above the cost of your tour ticket. Eh? Mm. Must be re reserved and paid for when you book your tour ticket. Mm. So um, here, according to the schedule, there's an optional dinner at the end of the tour. So optional um dinner. Optional, yes. So yes. Can mm. be chosen or not. It correct. It depends. So, mm. Mm -mm. however, it must be reserved with an extra twenty five dollars, which is above the cost of the ticket. So, in that case, if I get um, let's say the tour itself for um, let's say seventy five um dollars, and I want dinner then that would be added in the price of my ticket, which is $25. Uh-huh. So $25 mm -hmm. can be like the cost of a dinner? Uh, well, it's just an option. <laughs> it's just an option. Dinner, dinner at the yes. So if I don't, mm. um, don't, um, don't have dinner don't take dinner or don't yes not gonna eat dinner there then i don't need to additional pay for that yes you don't need to pay additional 25 dollars in your um ticket correct if i don't eat dinner mm. there correct yes that is correct in other words the additional 25 dollars of your tour ticket is not exactly for the ticket itself but for the dinner good business <laughs> oh, right, right, right. right. Mm. Oh. And uh, the last one. Uh, does the tour take place mostly in the morning or we also visit some places after lunch? And obviously, the answer is there all there's also some places after lunch. Places to visit after lunch. Uh-huh. Right. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. Go ahead, please. Yes. Yeah, the tour includes visits to several places mm. after lunch. First, there is a walking tour of Danville City Park and Garden, which begins at 2 o'clock. Then after that, at 3.30, the tour goes by bus to the Danville waterfront. Then you will get back to the hotel by 5.15. Mm. Oh, like right. this. <laughs> yep. So do you have mm. a lot of mock tests like this that we can practice yeah. more and more? Yes, we can uh, do uh, mock tests. Um, some, according to the um, authors of the book, um, are real questions. I don't exactly know, but um, anyway, <laughs> yes, uh, the, we have some practice tests to, that uh, we can use.
Mm. Yeah, so this one is the one with information. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, the only problem here is that if you, um, uh, for example, missed a detail <laughs> from the schedule, mm -hmm. you might not be able to give um, the exact answer to the question. So it's very important that you are quick to find information. Mm -hmm. But still, mm -hmm. there's the uh, that one here mm -hmm. that I can or well, I can look at it anytime, right? Well, well, while I'm talking yes. or while I was preparing for the answer, then I right. can also get um mm -hmm. some information from that, but yes. very quickly. Yes, correct. So uh it means that um this one um you will see it um throughout the um test the questions appear one after the other. So uh, mm -hmm. this one, you will always see it. And then um, there's the narration and then um, the three second and then beep and then question eight comes out. And then, um, uh, uh, no, it's the opposite. And then when it says beep, that, that is the time when you um, answer. And then um, next question. And then uh -huh. did it, did. so one by one, then it's uh, it appear and disappear like this. Oh yeah, something like that. So um, you will not see like all the questions at, at the once same time, at the same time. Yes. but uh, only correct. just uh, one by mm -hmm. one that I can see it. So yes, but I need correct. to remember all the rest of the question, like previous one. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't really have to remember them because once it's done, it means the other questions would ask for different details. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so like that. Once this one is done, um, it means that um, you'll just have to wait for the beep and so the question will come out. Um, I mean, the question will come out, just wait for the um, beep to um, be played and then you can answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the beep is basically your signal to respond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, th that is why like it has um, a particular um, time frame for each of the um, question because it's uh, like um, controlled by the computer. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to give the answer within the time limit. Actually, there's mm. no interview. I mean, no examinee, examiner, examiner. Examiner, correct. There, just I can talk just mm. through computer. Oh yes, because this one is um uh internet based. Ah, IBT. <laughs> yes, uh, that is ah, um correct. I thought there, there mm. could be one or two examiner. Mm. Then I they ah. just they just give me a question that I have to answer ah. them that mm. I thought their way. Mm. Um, for um, tests that are done in person, usually the examiner, um, yes, there is still some timing, but um, in um, tests like in person, for example, I'm speaking, the examiner can control the time. Mm -hmm. They just make sure that they are within um, the um, time limit, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit longer or mm -hmm. a little bit shorter, but they don't have to do it like exactly, um, let's say four minutes. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Because it's person-to-person -person interaction, which is the difference, which is the big difference when we do IBT tests like uh, this one. You got to follow the time because if, let's say, you're still responding and you did not still give the answer. It means after that 15 seconds, then it's over. <laughs> there should be another question. Right. Right. Mm. Okay. And that is about, that is what questions eight to 10 are about. Mm -hmm. mm. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to it's gonna take time to get used to those um 